One of the coolest things about becoming a blockchain developer is that there's so many different ways to make money with the skills. Of course, you know, you can get a job, you can become a freelancer, but there's all these other ways to make passive income inside the crypto space. And being a developer gives you a leg up on many of these different opportunities. And in this video, I want to talk about some of the top sources for passive income for blockchain developers that are working right now in 2022. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer who's done a lot of these myself. I'll talk about the pros and cons of each strategy so that you can decide which one works best for you. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's go through this list of passive income sources for blockchain developers in 2022. I'm going to go through each of these, explain how it works, and then, you know, what the pros and cons are for each strategy. So the first one is for DeFi liquidations. So you can see that in times of peak network activity, when cryptocurrency prices go up and down like crazy, that we can see $24 million or more of DeFi liquidations in a 24-hour period. So what is that? So basically, you have all these decentralized finance protocols out there like Aave, for example, to let people take out loans. All right, they're like savings and lending apps so where you can deposit cryptocurrency on one side and then, you know, you can take out loans on the other side. So why do users, you know, use this in the first place? Well, what you have are these traders and speculators who are taking out these loans for different reasons. They might be doing it for leverage trading. So let's say that you hold an asset like Ether, for example, for the long term. And, you know, during a bull run, you expect that, you know, the price of a different cryptocurrency is going to go up more than Ether during that time period. So you could take your Ether, lock it up into a protocol like Aave, and then borrow something like USDC, like a stable coin against that, and then go buy some sort of altcoin that you think is going to like two or three X in that amount of time. And then you know, flip it, pay the loan back. And then you never had to sell any of your original cryptocurrency in order to do that. Or let's say you want to shorten asset when you think prices are going down, you can borrow the asset, instantly sell it, buy it back when the price goes down and then refund your loan. Now that's what the users are doing with this activity. And of course, of course, you know, leverage is always a risky business. <laughs> okay. So um, where's the opportunity coming in for blockchain developers to make passive income? Well, well, all these protocols uh, have a liquidation price. So if basically you have to collateralize your loan and if your outstanding debt starts to creep in on your principal, then you're going to get liquidated or at least you can be liquidated. And so how these protocols work is it's an open platform that anybody can process that liquidation and you can get rewarded for doing that. So that's where the opportunity comes in for, for blockchain developers is basically to find delinquent loans that a lot of risky traders use and then help these protocols pay them back. So basically what you do is you create a script that watches for these or a bot, okay? And then you interface with the protocol smart contract to process those liquidations. So what are the pros and cons of this strategy? Well, let's talk about the pros, okay? So it doesn't always require capital up front. So in many cases, you can do this with flash loans where you can borrow you know, money directly from the protocols themselves to instantly pay back these loans. And you don't have to have any cryptocurrency to do that aside from paying the gas fees. Now, the cons to doing this is that there's definitely some work involved in setting it up. Okay, you have to create the scripts or the bots. You have to work with the smart contracts. And it's also a competitive task because if anybody can borrow the money to process it, then you have lots of the people who are looking for the same types of opportunities. So that can be competitive. Now, there's answers to this, just like building trading bots, we'll talk about later, which is to look for opportunities that people aren't currently looking for, or to develop different strategies for doing this, or just being the first person to process the liquidation itself and get faster. And so if you want to get started on this strategy, you can definitely go check out the tutorials on my YouTube homepage to get started. But you can also go to the docs.ave.com, the developer docs for Ave and see, uh, you know, what it takes to start developing your own liquidation strategies. We've got great step-by-step -step guides that, that walk you through that. All right, so next strategy for making passive income as a blockchain developer is with NFTs. Okay, we've seen, you know, 12-year-old boy earning over $400,000 in NFTs, selling them on his summer holiday, or this 12-year-old girl who made nearly $6 million in NFTs by creating her own artworks. So now most of these people are doing NFT drops. So basically, they create their own NFT collection, they create a minting website where people can go use them. But there's a strategy for doing passive of income that a lot of these projects haven't really factored in yet, which is really just starting out, which are royalties with NFTs, okay? So you can actually create NFTs that whenever they change hands or whenever they're sold on marketplaces and there's a you know fee involved that you can get that part of that fee paid back to you as the creator of the NFT itself. And that's where the passive income part comes into play. So, you know, of course, it takes work to create an NFT project, get it out there, launch it. But if you can create one of the royalties, then you can actually get paid over time for the lifetime of that project as the creator of the NFT itself. Now, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this strategy. Now, full disclosure, I have not yet created my own passive income NFT project just yet. Okay, but I might do that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. You'll be the first to find out if we launch a DAP University NFT. 
Okay, so what are the pros and cons? So the pros are that you have lifetime income. Okay, like whenever this project gets launched and you turn on royalties, then there's no reason for them to necessarily stop assuming that it keeps getting traded. Okay, and once you set up, it's completely passive and there's nothing for you to do. Now, the cons are the friction of creating an NFT project in the first place. You, of course, have to get the artwork together. It has to resonate with people and for them to buy it and actually want to hold it for the long term and actually get sold in a secondary marketplace. You don't necessarily know what the lifetime of that project is going to be ahead of time. And, you know, in order for it to actually gain, you know, adoption, typically community has to be formed around the NFTs and there will likely be some maintenance required in order to set up that community and also maintain it over the long term. Now, that being said, communities can become self-sustaining over time if they get that initial momentum going. And so if you want to know how to create your own NFT project that generates royalties, definitely go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. There's a playlist for free blockchain development courses and you can actually see a passive income NFT tutorial right here. And you can also keep an eye out because we hold an NFT masterclass inside the blockchain mastery program and we open that up to the general public about once a month on this YouTube channel. So definitely keep an eye out for that. All right, so the next opportunity for passive income is with crypto staking, okay? So lots of people can stake their cryptocurrency. They don't have to be developers, but you have a particular edge if you're gonna be a staker as a developer. So let me explain what I mean by that. So first of all, I'll clarify what I mean by staking. People use staking kind of interchangeably to mean different things. But what I mean is actually running decentralized infrastructure, like actual blockchain infrastructure, where you can take cryptocurrency and lock it up and earn passive income rewards for doing that because there is a technical aspect of this. So examples are blockchains like Ethereum, where you actually have to run an Ethereum node or a full validator on Ethereum 2.0 in order to receive passive income for doing that. Or these are layer one blockchains, which you can see here. Okay. So why is there an edge here as a developer? Well, of course, other people can stake All right, but they're going to have a reduced fee because if somebody else is going to stake for them and they join a staking pool, then they're going to make less money. But you can earn more money as a developer by running the infrastructure. You can also earn money by letting other people stake for you if you have a proof of stake blockchain that maybe runs delegated proof of stake where you can run a staking pool and other people can delegate their stake to you. Or you could just have some sort of pool that you create uh, to, to run a staking pool for other people who want to stake with less money and they can stake with you. So what are the pros and cons of this? So the pros are that, you know, it's guaranteed money. Like if you have cryptocurrency and you stake it, like you are going to earn passive income reward for doing this, okay? And the other pro is that you have a, you know, as a developer, because running your own node is more profitable than staking to somebody else. Now, what are the cons? So, of course, with most of these cases, uh, staking rewards can go down if the more people participate. So, like on Ethereum 2.0, here's the current APR, okay? And if more people start staking, this APR is going to go down. Now, this is just the APR from the block rewards, okay? Ethereum 2.0 is also going to have additional... Uh, fees paid to validators. So that's gonna, probably going to be higher than this number here initially. Uh, but still, the more people stake, the, the less it's going to be over time. The other thing is that there's a big barrier of entry for different blockchains. Like for Ethereum, for example, you have to have a certain amount of Ether. Like it takes money to get started. Okay. There's operational risks. So if you're running a node and you lock your own cryptocurrency up into it or somebody else's cryptocurrency, those funds could potentially get compromised. And the other big one is that this, the value of the staked assets themselves can fall, especially if you're in a, a cryptocurrency bear market. All right. So another way to make passive income with blockchain is to create a cryptocurrency trading bot. So I've done this and I've made lots of other videos on my channel about developers like this who have made, you know, $31,000 in a single day on a single transaction with a cryptocurrency trading bot. So what's the opportunity like? How does this work? So this is not like a cryptocurrency trading bot that tries to predict what future cryptocurrency prices are going to be, where you're trying to say like, oh, I by, by these indicators, I think that cryptocurrency is going to do this in the next you know five minutes or whatever. And so I buy and sell based on that information. That's an algorithmic trading bot. And a lot of those things blow up and people lose money. But you can create cryptocurrency trading bots that really can't lose the principal, the money that you're trading, powered by flash loans. So basically, you're able to take out you know, flash loans in the blockchain because it's a blockchain based with smart contracts and do arbitrage trades where you're buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on a different exchange for a profit. And so what do you need to do to create one of these? Well, you need to create the smart contract that actually you know implements a flash loan and then takes that cryptocurrency and buys the cryptocurrency on whatever exchange and then sells on a different or implements whatever type of arbitrage strategy that you want to inside that smart contract. And then you also need to create some sort of searcher bot that watches the opportunities in the marketplace and then calls that, okay? So what are the pros and cons of this? So the pros are that it doesn't necessarily require any money up front if you're using flash loans. Now you need to have some money in order to pay the gas fees, okay? But what are the cons? Well, you know, uh, arbitrage bots have gotten more competitive over time as more people have learned how to do this. So it's kind of a zero sum game. So how do you fix that problem? Well, you can optimize your bot to basically outrun other people. And that's super competitive because you're competing with other developers who are really good at doing that type of thing. Uh, or you can get creative and start 
implementing different strategies that other people aren't doing, okay? You can do like this person did, okay? And then bribe the miner to include your transaction in the blockchain. You can try to do private transactions or you can just go start looking for opportunities that other people aren't or use your own money to where those transactions aren't easily replicated by others. All right, so the last method for making passive income as a blockchain developer is by using leverage DeFi strategies. So there's lots of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna give you one example in this video. So let's look at an application like this. Uh, this is Compound Finance. It works kind of like Aave that I talked about earlier in the liquidations section. So it's a money market where basically you can, you know, deposit cryptocurrency and earn yield, right? Or you can take out loans on the other side for, for whatever reason, right? For advanced DeFi strategies. Now, a lot of these apps, uh, you know, are issuing their own tokens as liquidity incentives, okay? Like Compound uh, basically has a compound token and rewards for people doing this, okay? And they'll give you a certain amount of comp tokens based upon your how much money you deposited in, into the interface or bar on the other side, okay? You, you, normal users can do this. You don't have to be a developer to do that. But as a developer, you can create advanced strategies that most normal people can't do through the user interface, okay? Because the smart contracts for these platforms are open and any developer can access them and, and tap into them with their own smart contracts and create their own strategies. So you can do things like get bonus comp rewards uh, by doing deposits and borrows in the same transaction uh, with the same cryptocurrency. And you can't do that through the user interface. And then you can additionally take out flash loans to increase your exposure into the protocol to maximize the amount of comp rewards that you can get. And in many cases, you can triple the amount of cryptocurrency that you can receive on this or even more. All right, so that's how the strategy works. What are the pros and cons of this strategy? So the pros are, again, this is guaranteed passive income. Like if you just implement the strategy, it's going to pay you. Now, what are the cons? So one, it does require some of your own money in order to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't just do it with zero money and up front, okay? And what are, there's risks associated with this. Okay, full, full, full disclosure, okay? So the first risk is liquidation risk, okay? So basically, uh, if you try to over leverage when you're doing this type of thing and the interest rates kind of fall out of whack on you, then you can get liquidated and your principal uh, can go down, okay? So the other risk is if you're coding your own smart contracts that hold your own money, then there's always smart contract risk whenever you're custodying your own funds inside of that. And so if you wanna get started experimenting with these types of strategies, then what can you do? Well, you can definitely go to the Compound Finance uh, developer documentation. Go to compound.finance forward slash doc forward slash API and then read about how the C tokens work, okay? Because that's what you want to do is you want to deposit uh, funds in the application and then uh, get the C token and then look at, you know, how to how to claim comp tokens based on the amount of time that you've actually held those C tokens that, you know, guarantee your deposit. And we also have trainings inside the Blockchain Mastery Program on how to perform these exact type of strategies. And again, we open those up for our monthly master classes. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. You'll find out about those whenever we open up that cohort again. All right, so that's an overview of some of the top ways to make passive income as a blockchain developer in 2022. Hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast with the technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Start implementing these strategies yourself. Like I was saying before, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like you to be courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can actually become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.